Oh, I thought it changed the date. It did? Oh, well, I erased it. Okay, this is Facebook Live Friday for the 20th of March, uh, 2020. And we're here in the uh, conference room slash studio of the Public Relations Department. Uh, Amanda and I share this as an office, so we're trying to be as distant from each other as we can. Uh, under the circumstances, but uh, we want to <clears throat> discuss a few things this week that have happened this week uh, that we can, uh, we want to update you on. Of course, if you are just, if this is the first time you're seeing our social media pages for the day, uh, you may have missed this announcement. Uh, and as part of our response protocol for COVID-19, we are going to close the lobby of the downtown Spragans building, our main building downtown, effective at 5.30 this afternoon, and it will remain closed until further notice. But that doesn't mean we're not working. That's correct. It's, it's, it's still, we're still up and running. We're still open for business, just in a very different way. And you can still conduct your business uh, with us in a wide variety of ways, be it uh, online, through the website, uh, we have a mobile app you can use. Uh, our call center is still open. You can call and do business that way as well. <clears throat> uh, understand the wait times may be a little longer than usual uh, in the call center, simply because we, we expect them to be taking in a slightly greater volume of calls than they usually uh, than they usually do. I'm sorry, I had an email pop up in the corner of my screen and I was reading it. Sorry for my distraction there. Surprisingly, we have, we do normally have a lot of foot traffic that comes in. We do. And that was the main reason why when things changed yesterday to limit groups to 25, um, you know, that's why we had to change our lobby. So, I mean, it's not that we don't want to take care of our customers. We do. We're still here. Right. That's always uh, our, our top priority. And, uh, but this is for the, uh, you know, it's, it's social distancing, uh, not well, just for our customers, but for our employees that work in the lobby as well. We have a lot of employees that, uh, it's raining, Mr. Mr. Himes just tells me. All right. Me. Good. We, our office is in the basement, so we often we don't, don't know. know. So thank you for that update, sir. Um, well, the other thing is, even before we did the lobby closure, we were going through measures to clean and disinfect. Right. And we were doing we were doing our part to try to you know. Right. We we response. we've had uh, we already have employees working from home, including employees in our department uh, who are working from home. Um, and we are taking uh, steps to disinfect the building on a regular basis. We posted about this last evening, or yesterday afternoon, I believe it yeah. was. Uh, not just the the buildings, uh, but our vehicles that are out and about in the community, uh, our gas, exactly. water, and electric vehicles, um, because they're driving through your communities, and you may uh, see them or, or interact with them. So um, we have a very <clears throat> well-defined protocol that our, our management team has laid out, and uh, they've put a lot of work into this. Um, these are uh, unprecedented times, but uh, we do have plans in place, and we're dealing with it, and uh, we're going to, like I say, it's, it's, it's business as usual, but maybe business as unusual is a better way to put it. So we're still here for you. We're still here to serve our customers, and like I said, you can do that. Uh, conduct your business with us through uh, online or over the phone. And uh, if you want more information about that, uh, of course, go to a website. There's a lot of information there. Um, what else has been going on this week? Yes, on Wednesday, Wednesday across the country was National Natural Gas Utility Workers Day. And we acknowledge that here, ordinarily, we would have done a lot more for the men and women yeah. in our natural I gas department. Have a video and, we were gonna yeah. produce a video, we were gonna do all kinds of fun stuff with those guys, but under the circumstances we just weren't able to do that. Um, we were having to use a lot of our social media uh, efforts to get you guys some important information about what we're doing and, and what's going on. But that's a picture we took. I want to say we took that picture before the whole social yeah. distancing thing happened. <laughs> so no, they're not standing six feet apart. We're not trying to make light of the situation, by the no, way, in any way, shape, or form. Um, we're trying to stay sane. We're, we're trying to, uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're all in this with you guys, but that picture was taken uh, in the last month you took that? Yep. Yeah. So. But we want to do give a shout out to the men and the women in the natural gas department who are out there. Uh, I, 
got to quit looking at my emails when they pop up in the corner. It's distracting me. Uh, so what was else? I talking about? We were no. talking about natural gas utility. But we're today. recapping the week. So yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not done talking about that yet. Oh, okay. Um, but we do want to give a shout out to those guys, uh, to natural gas workers all over the country, um, to our uh, uh, industry partners in the American Public Gas Association. Um, these guys do, uh, these natural gas workers out in the field and on the administrative side, they do a lot of hard work uh, getting natural gas to the homes and businesses in the community. And we want to say thank you to them. We wish we could have said more on Wednesday, but circumstances being what they are. Uh, next on, what? oh, you want to add anything? No, I, no, I mean, I, we love them. But yeah. good, next. good group of guys. We have a lot of fun, men and women. I meant guys in the collective sense. We have a lot of fun with them. They're very supportive of, of our efforts to uh, get information out to you guys. And so we thank them for that. Um, okay. Uh, and this, I want to talk about something now that even under normal, normal circumstances, and Amanda can attest to this, really, really aggravates me. Yeah. And in these circumstances, it's, 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 it's quite frankly infuriating. Um, Scams, scammers seem to be taking advantage of the situation. Uh, despite what we have uh, put out there, information about temporary suspension of, of service interruptions and things, there are still scammers calling and saying, hey, if you don't pay within the next 30 minutes, we're gonna cut your power off. We can't say it enough. These are scam calls. Do not fall for it. We do not operate our business that way. Um, if you suspect you are on a call with a scammer, just hang up. Yeah. You, 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 that's all you have to do is hang up. Hang up on them. Uh, give us a call. We will confirm the status of your account. We'll answer any questions you want to know. 256-535-1200. Great group of people working in our customer information center. Mm -hmm. I go to them myself sometimes. Sometimes you guys will ask us a question over Facebook and I'm like 99% sure I know the answer, but I wanna make sure I give you the absolute right answer. Yeah. So I'll run down the hall to the CIC, ask somebody in there or I'll shoot them an email and they get me an answer like that. They will do the same for you. Um, so a, a shout out to them because uh, they're getting a lot busier right now. Um, the other thing you wanted yes. to talk about was that the new Facebook group. Oh gosh, okay. Here's the thing, and I, I don't. You want to talk about? It? I'm interrupting I, you. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't well, mean to do that. No, well, we've been working together. Yes. <laughs> well, the Facebook groups, though, it, I, I don't understand. They keep popping up, and they keep asking people to join the groups. Yeah, so I, I, I've stay seen. Stay up I'm on COVID. You. Yeah, I, I've seen, I've had a couple of invitations myself for these today. It'd be like things to do while you're in quarantine, uh, places to find, and it's a Facebook group you can join. I'm sure a lot of them are legitimate. Yeah, they're well. I'm absolutely sure a lot of them are legitimate, but I'm also sure some of them aren't. And they are simply yeah. attempts to access your Facebook account for fraudulent means. So all we're saying about that is if you see a Facebook group, you get an invitation from it. Um, Wow, well, that's a very nice thing. Kyle Bishop just gave us a really good compliment. We appreciate that. Uh, as one of our big fans, I, I know there's a lot of uh, engagement uh, yeah. from Kyle. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry. It may, maybe it's Keel, K E K E I L. That's Kyle, isn't it? Okay, well, thank you anyway, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, but we appreciate everybody uh, who gives us a lot of engagement on there. And uh, we appreciate all our fans. Um, and we really enjoy doing these Facebook Live uh, things with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they responded back. Um, well, so but another, anyway, back, back to the scams. What? Yeah. Well, another thing on the Facebook stuff is like, I've got kids at home right now. Keel. Oh, it's Keel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, now I know. No, Thank no. you. Thank you for clearing that up for me. But I've got kids at home that, you know, are supposed to be in school and school's closed and yada, yada, yada. He's got kids at home. So, I mean, I'm noticing that they're getting on their devices and they're just really creating a new way to be social. And I, and those of us, I mean, we're already on Facebook and stuff, but we need to kind of remember that we got to create our groups yeah. so, um, with people that we know. So. Yeah, so just, you know, just be careful, you know, before you click or join anything. Um, and that's just, I mean, that's good advice anytime, but yeah. even more so now because it's said people are taking advantage of it. 
uh, what was the email we got about? Oh, well, I, so even with the, um, even though we sent out a thing that we're not going to do disconnects right now, um, just because of what's happening with everybody. I'm touching um, my face and that's what we do. I know. But the, with everybody, um, so we're not doing disconnects. What does that mean? That means that if you don't pay your bill, you're not going to get your utilities cut off. But that does mean that you still will, um, cut at the end of this, you know. You know okay, but that, that's not the email I was talking about. The email I was talking about was we got an email that uh, some people have reported getting phone calls from people saying, okay, this is Nurse Jennifer from a particular hospital oh. and you've tested positive and oh, if you remember that email right. we got and so one. yeah and and so they say uh, you know we need your credit card number so we can process your test and I mean that's despicable um, that people would do that but it just goes back to my point people are taking advantage of the situation know before you click um, and just you know, just practice the good habits you would always online habits you would always. We've dwelled on this long enough. I'm starting to get riled up about yeah. it. So let, let's move on to a few other things that we wanted to talk about. Um, this is uh, this is the new normal. It's going to be the new normal. Hopefully not for a very long time, but it is going to be that way for a while. And uh, one of the things that uh, is impacting Amanda and myself is we can't go to the gym. I know. Our, both our gyms are closed that we go to, and we are, some of you may be doing this too, competing in the Scale Back Alabama uh, contest, where you have to be in a team of two, uh, no more, no less, just like the Sith. There can only be two, a master and apprentice. Uh, but we're on a team. I'm the master. Okay, well, you, you keep telling yourself that. Um, we're on a team. And so uh, we both go to different gyms, and I, I drove to mine the other day and signed up on the door and said, okay, we're closed till further notice. Uh, Amanda goes to the, the, we have a YMCA Why? here in our building. They closed that down yesterday. Completely understandable. Yeah. Of course, it's the right course of action. Um, but uh, so I've, I've taken to just ramping up the cardio. Yeah. Well, we're going for runs in the neighborhood. That's been our thing. But then the Not other together. thing is, no, yeah. I mean, we live in when different I say neighborhoods. Me, I usually mean me and one of my children, whoever I can actually get off the couch and yeah. drag out the door. Um, but then the other thing we do is I've got yoga videos that I've, you know, kind of pulled out. I haven't done them in a while. And then I've got um, different workouts. I. I just, I have not been working out at home at all, so I just kind of have to change my routine. Yeah, and I've just, I've just cramped and ramped up doing uh, cardio. I usually lift weights every other day, but now I'm just doing cardio and just doing some calisthenics and stuff like that. But keep, if, if you are the kind of person like that, stay active, keep doing things like that. Um, <laughs> this is, I don't mean, I, I laugh because I was trying to think, oh, it's the weekend, it's been a long week, it's been a stressful week for all of us. And I thought, oh, the weekend's here, I can go to the movies, and then it instantly clicked, and no, I can't. Uh, because I believe all the, the movie theaters are closed. Well, yeah. I, mean, I know the ones I usually go to are closed. Um, yeah. So I had to quit touching my face. Um, <laughs> so uh, my, my middle son uh, found a, a thing. I don't know where he found it, but it's this scratch-off poster, and it says, like, the 100, 100 movies you mu absolutely must see. And wow. so he wanted to start going through them. Uh, Fortunately, many of them are available online. I know the first movie on the list was The Shawshank Redemption, which I've seen a gazillion times already. Um, uh, I'm going to answer your question in a moment there, uh, Mr. Himes, Himes yeah. whose name I'm also probably mispronouncing. I'm terrible with names. Um, but so, uh, you know, we're streaming a lot of movies. Uh, of course, the kids also are getting assignments from from school, so there, there's that to do. Yeah. Um, and one thing I really want to really want to stress, um, you've seen probably us advocate on here for giving blood. Uh, it's something that I personally feel very strongly about. I know Amanda does too. Uh, the the Life South uh, blood bus was in my neighborhood on Wednesday when I was driving home, uh, and I had just reached the point where I could give again uh, this at the beginning of this week. So I swung in there, was able to give blood. And, uh, of course, they're always very thankful that you give blood. And uh, the technician who was taking my donation, he said, uh, he said, I want to thank you for doing this. And I said, well, you know, it's no problem. And he stopped me and he said, no. He said, I really want to thank you for this because ever since this started, we're getting killed. 
Yeah. Um, so people just aren't donating. Uh, if you feel healthy, I would urge you to donate. Life South, Red Cross. Um, I've been seeing a lot of stories <clears throat> about the supply being low. Um, I understand some people are nervous about giving blood if you've never done it before. I've been doing it for decades. Uh, I've never had a bad experience. I've never experienced anything uh, uncomfortable. Um, oh, and I was going to say too, um, now that we're now that so many of us are home um, a lot during the day when maybe we weren't before, um, my one of my kids came running and he goes, "Pop, pop, pop!" That's what they call their dad. Um, There's somebody in the yard. There's somebody in the yard. So we actually had the meter reader um, come through our yard this morning, um, and of course they usually come when we're not there. So just keep in mind that you are still going to see. We're you know we're, we're still, still out and about. We you know? we we're like. You know, there's a lot of jobs out there. My wife's a nurse. Obviously, she's not <laughs> working from home and taking any time off. Um, uh, the first responders in our community who do a great job are going to keep doing that work. Police, fire, Hemsey, uh, our electric, gas, water people are still going to be out there doing the job. Yeah. Uh, that's And that's what they signed up for, and they're going to keep doing it. Um, but we've got a lot of folks working from home. Yeah. So we're doing our part. We're trying to get as much of the administrative stuff that can be done from home is being done by yes, people Julian. from home. Yeah, I'm going to answer that. And let, oh, me, okay. let me answer your question now, sir, before we dig too much farther down. He asked the question, if this problem continues for an extended period with people unemployed, what plans are in place to extend monthly payments? Okay, I'm going to give you the, the short answer to that question, uh, but uh, as long as I can make it. Um, this is a evolving situation, as we all know. Uh, our management team is constantly meeting uh, and in contact with each other every day for multiple times a day, constantly looking at the, the latest data from uh, Alabama Department of Health. Uh, we monitor, monitor, monitor the city's monthly briefing uh, that takes place every, every day at noon. Uh, and so the best answer I can give you right now is we are monitoring the situation and we will cross that bridge at, when we come to it. Yeah. Uh, I will say this, if anybody listening right now or watching, um, if, you, if you have reason to believe you are going to suffer any kind of financial hardship, whether you're having to miss work, whether you have the virus, hopefully you don't. Um, hopefully. The five people in our county that have it now, that's going to be it. Um, contact us, and we'll help you. We can work with you. We've got multiple, you know, it's called, it's the, again, it's the great men and women in the CIC. They can answer your questions about this. They can help you with, they can discuss options with you. Um, but yeah. as far as a definite, here's what we're going to do, that we have to wait and see because we a lot of it's going to depend on how long this lasts. So that's well, the answer to your question. Yeah, and we've got to look out for each other. Um, we do have an organist, uh, you know, something that comes on your bill that sometimes people don't know what it is. Project Share. Project Share is something that you can donate to. You can donate just, you know, a couple bucks. Um, but if you feel like you're in one of the situations where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to be okay this month, but, you know, let me give a couple of bucks to Project Share. That money goes towards people that are, are struggling to pay their utility bills. Right. Um, and that is, um, that money, 100% of that money goes straight to uh, the It goes to help folks. the people who need it. So, um, so in, in this time, we got to look out for each other um, because we're all in this together. I mean, even <laughs> as an organization, there's some, you know, some people in our organization that are definitely going to keep working like a regular work day. They don't get the you know, to just yeah. have the time off. So. Uh, so before we wrap this up, uh, again, if you have any questions, you can send us a question through Facebook. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, more than happy uh, to answer it. Um, we're all kind of, <laughs> we'll answer it as quickly as we can. Let me put it that way. Sometimes, especially after business hours, uh, it, it might take us a little long to answer your question, but we will get you an answer. Um, uh, I, I, a good news story that I saw this week, um, there's a lot of talk about uh, medical teams not having enough uh, masks, sometimes having to reuse their masks, things like that. Uh, TV medical dramas 
uh, are donating all the gowns, gloves, and masks that they use to shoot their shows, they're donating them to area hospitals uh, so that they have the supplies they need. That's, that's a good thing uh, for people to, for, for them to do. I like that. Um, and I also noticed that in Ikea, it does not have the exact location of this Ikea, but uh, there, were some, there were some Ikea workers uh, who were doing some work in a warehouse, and they found 50,000 face masks that they didn't know they had. So they donated them to a hospital there where they're at. So, you know, that, and that's the thing about, you know, people always, in times of crisis, we come together. Um, we've seen it before. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing it now. Um, so uh, Everybody just, uh, you know, keep hanging in there. This, this It's going to end. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. going to be like this forever. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, and, and take, a <clears throat> take the moment to kind of, I mean, I am always the, you know, glass is half full person. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I know. But I, I feel like it's given us a chance. We just got a puppy, and we thought that that would be a great idea to get a puppy, you know, because we didn't have we have so much going on in our life. But anyway, we got this puppy, and now um, the kids are really having a great time getting to know the puppy because we are, you know, essentially home. I mean, as much as possible. So and, uh, I, you know, I highly recommend that you look at the things. You know, we're actually organizing the downstairs. You know, we knit. When we moved in, we piled it with boxes, and now we're actually getting through some of that stuff. And then my silly daughter, she said that, um, she's like, Mom, I want to homeschool. This is ridiculous. I don't want to go back to school. Well, now she's getting a test run of homeschool, and I think that she's going to have a huge appreciation for what that really means uh, when all of this is, is done. So that's my tidbit. Um, and, you know, uh, I've got – three kids, one of which is in his first year of college, and his school spring break was this week. And he got a, an email, This well, he, at first he got an email saying, okay, well, why don't you stay an extra week? Uh, he hadn't been thrown out or anything. They just it wasn't against him personally. They sent it to everyone, of course. Uh, and then they announced uh, today, not today, uh, earlier this week that they're going to be online for the rest of the, uh, of the semester. So... Um, you know, it's a silver lining. We're gonna have uh, the house with all the kids uh, till the fall, I guess. Uh, so, you know, look look for the good things. Um, don't let it get you down. Uh, and uh, you know, read a book, watch us, watch some Netflix or some Hulu. We got Hulu. Yeah. I like the Hulu. Well, I we, call it the Hulu. We finally downloaded the library app. So that, a, oh, yeah. If you go to the Huntsville Public Library. Yeah, the building, the, the branches themselves are closed, of but, course. But ebooks, and I was one of those guys, I was very slow to jump on the ebook thing. I like having a book. Yeah. I, got a, I got a bunch of books. I got more books than I got shelves to put them on. And I really, uh, it was really, but now I, I'm a big fan. Yeah, we love we love books in our house. Okay, and so, so the, uh, yeah, yeah. So I highly recommend the library app. Yeah, it works. Well, um, okay. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, I remember the lobby's closing at noon. Not at noon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Scratch that. Five thirty today. Yeah. We were we sent. Well, it was ten o'clock. We sent the notice out. Um, Darlene Gable has a very good comment here. Many seniors live alone and have no family, and it's not that much fun for them. You're exactly right. Um, if you know, uh, if you have an elderly family member, uh, some elderly people in your neighborhood, check on them. Um, check on them often. Uh, yeah. We did, um, we did one of the, the picture frames for um, one of our grandmothers and uh, gave the code out to all the family, and it's one that... Um, we can actually upload pictures to the picture frame. All of the family oh, members yeah, my mom's have a little those. code, yeah. um, and so I highly recommend that. She absolutely loves that because then she, you know, that that's her version of Facebook. <laughs> yeah, my brother uh, sent one to my mother. Yeah, and you get the code, and the you know the tech savvy folk can push yeah. up the pictures. So. Um, but anyway, we've had a lot of uh, comments, and we appreciate that over this one. A lot of people watching. We hope this has been a nice little break <clears throat> from your day. Uh, as more information comes in, 
we will get it out to you through our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, we are a public agency on Nextdoor. We send out information that way. Um, if there's any questions you have, you can get them to us through those channels and we will get you an answer as quickly as we can. Um, you, am I leaving anything out? See you next Friday. We'll see you next Friday, and uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. You can use our website, mobile app, 535-1200 we'll, uh, if you want to do business over the phone with us. But we are open for business, uh, just not the lobby. So uh, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, wash your hands and be kind to each other. Is that it? Bye.